Hello guys, Ken here, your Thrifty Apprentice. Today we are going to be taking a look at Arteza 48 count of colored pencils from their expert line. Now Arteza has three lines. They have a classic kids line, they have a premium student grade line, and they have an expert artist um, professional, professional grade line. So this is the 48 count of colored pencils from their artist line of um, products. Now, I'll go ahead and say right off the bat, this is kind of an odd number set. I've noticed that on a lot of the websites, the 48 count isn't available. I couldn't find it. The only place I was actually able to find the 48 count was the Arteza website where I ordered it from. Um, but we'll talk a little bit more about that later. I did want to go ahead and throw that out in the very beginning before I forgot to say that. So looking at the tin, it is actually a very nice and sturdy tin. It's one of the more sturdier and doable tins um, that I've got with the collection lately. And I'm really impressed with the quality of the tin. Um, of course, I always tell you guys, you can use the tins for whatever you want, whether it's storing the product that actually comes in it or something else. Um, really simple logo going on the front that you know that you have 48 pencils in the set that it comes from the expert line It says that they are artist quality and have a rich and vibrant color Flipping over on the back here. There's a lot of information um, Arteza professional grade artist quality colored pencils Break resistant with a soft and thick lid smooth color lay down for superior blending and shading unsurpassable light fast and acid-free quality pigments. Wow. Um, ideal for drawing, illustrating, and coloring. There's a color swatch of all the pencils. There are colored names listed, and there are also color stock numbers to match the name for our, um, ordering, I guess, open stock. Although I'll be honest, I didn't see any open stock on the um, website. Um, Arteza uh, it is distributed by Arteza. It says that this is in Delaware for the distribution, but I do not know that Arteza itself is headquartered in Florida, if I'm not mistaken. So that's pretty much all of the information on the tin. There's a little, there's actually a little um, code down here for helpful tips and one for 20% off of the next purchase when you join the Arteza club. So that's a little perk already on the tin listed there for a 20% discount on the next order. Not too bad. Let's take a look at the pencils themselves. Just going to flip this over. Now it comes in, let me see what's the best way to turn this. Can you guys see it that way? All right. So now it comes in two trays because this is 48. It comes in other sets as well. There, um, you can get it in, um, 24, 48, uh, 72 and then the full count of 120 colored pencils so there are a total of 120 pencils in the line the barrels are round the entire color of the barrel is to match the lid and i will go ahead and tell you that that is a pretty accurate description now from what i understand colored pencils um or most colored pencils tend to match the coloring on the barrel but in and in my experience, it's been that way as well with a couple of color pencil sets that I have. So, but these are actually some pretty, almost perfect matches to the lid. The lids are really nice and soft, um, really thick. They come to a really nice point. Um, the pencil sharpens really well. Although when you originally get the pencil, um, the lid is, let me grab one that I may pretty much use them all, but let's see. The lids are pretty blunt um, when you originally get the pencil. Um, when you sharpen it, though, it will come to a very, very, very beautiful point for detailing. I think that is absolutely amazing. I love the quality of the pencil. It's made of a very nice and durable wood. The pencils are round, so they will roll. However, I prefer round pencils because I find them uh, more comfortable to hold. But and, and these are very, very nice to work with. Um, the barrel tells you the company name that is from the expert line. Um, the adjacent side is going to tell you the color um, that the lid is. 
the stock number for Arteza, and then it gives you their light fast ratings, which is done on a plus level of one to three, with one being the most fugitive and three being the most light fast, if I am not mistaken. Most of the pencils in this set do come out to be in the two and three range. There are very few one stars. Um, other than the colors that you may typically would expect it to be. Now, I'm not sure about the bigger sets. I would want to assume that they are of the same quality, the same make. You just get more pencils. So, um, that's pretty much the barrel of the pencils themselves. And let's just put this back in here really quickly. We're going to slide this to the side so we can start taking a look at some color swatches here. And I got a few examples that we're going to look at of some things that I've done with the color pencils. Now, I swatched the pencils out on uh, watercolor paper as well as cardstock because that's what I use them on the most. I do tend to use them on mixed media paper as well. And we're going to take a look at some of that. So, right off the bat, I'll tell you that the colors are very, very pretty and rich and creamy. The lid is soft. And as the packaging says, it doesn't break. And I, that's because it's bonded all the way down the barrel. Now, what I did not say, and let me go back and say really quickly about um, grabbing one of them to show you guys. The barrel matches the color swatching just like the barrel matches the lid to a T. So perfectly all the way around, you know what you get when you grab the pencil. However, I will tell you that the pencil is trans more on the transparent side than on the opaque side. Therefore, to get opacity, you do have to do quite a bit of layering. Not that there's an issue with me one way or the other because it being more on the transparent side means that I can layer and get the color depth that I want um, by building. And it allows me more control over building that color depth. And that, in my opinion, is a good thing. As you can see here, now this is the rose red. This is really close. I mean, you know exactly what you're getting. And I just wanted to show you guys that real quick so that you would be aware um, if you decided that you, you wanted to, you know, add these to your collection. Uh, on the toned paper, the colors stand out even more, in my opinion, in a, even the lighter colors. You can see on a on, on a toned background or are, are, are more vibrant and stand out stand out ish is that a word that's not even a word stand out ish but uh, they stand out more um the colors do glaze and layer on top of each other well i mean because each one of these is more than one pass and of course i had to do more than one pass with a transparent lid in order to build enough opacity um for me to see exactly what i would get as i colored with them um, especially if I decided to do a technique like varnishing with them. Now, I have used a solvent with these as well, so they dissolve really well or, or move and blend really well with a solvent. I personally use Gamzol, um, which is an odorless mineral spirit. Uh, you guys use whatever you have. Um, I'm sure it'll work. And the pencils, in my experience, with a solvent, you know, react really well and work really well. Now, I did a little test painting down here on the bottom, and I was doing it because I really wanted to see about color mixing. Now, here, I didn't do any color mixing on the white paper, but on the tone paper, you can see that lemon yellow and the crimson red made a really bright and beautiful orange, which is not close to the pumpkin orange that stands out or the regular orange in the set. So that would actually blend together to add uh, another variation of the yellow-orange line here. Really nice. The lemon yellow and the ultramarine blue gave me another green. Not that there is a lack of any greens in the set. Actually, let's be clear. For this to just be a 48-count set, and there's actually 120 pencils in the range, this is a pretty comprehensive set. Um, I have to tip my hats off to Arteza for that because I didn't find myself missing or wanting for any colors. So I think this set was put together really well as far as the variation of colors. Um, and you, you get a range of each one in order to work with. 
and, and they blend and mix well in order to produce other ones. The magenta, the magenta is a very beautiful color. Um, the ultramarine blue is nice. It really looks like ultramarine. The pigmentation in the pencils is are, are really nice. So let's take a look really quickly at some things that I've done with the pencils because I mean, a lot of what I would say would be beating a dead stick with a, beating a dead horse with a stick. That's how it goes, yeah. And yes, I got that from my mom and my grandmother. Yes, I did. Uh, beating a dead horse with a stick. So basically just repeating the same things over and over. And I'm really trying to work on not doing that. So let's just go ahead and take a look at some of the paintings that I've done other than the ones on the swatch sheets. Now, you guys remember, this was a tutorial that went up on the channel. Um, it actually had Genze Tenbai paint, watercolor paints as the um, base layer. And then Arteza Expert Colored Pencils went on top of that in order to add more depth and just more punch and bring the picture out. I really love this. This is one of the first ones that I did that I was just really like, okay, I, I feel like I did a nice job. Um, there was also the landscape tutorial that went up on the channel where, if I'm not mistaken, this was Master's Touch watercolor paint as the base layer. And then Arteza Expert Color Pencils was used to glaze and layer and again add the punch. Now, this is where I'm talking about where the transparency of the color pencils really come into play and is a really great thing. Because it allows you to layer on top of bases that are already there and not darken and deepen the color too quickly or too fastly outside of your control. That way you can add as much or pull back as much as you need to. I really, really love that um, about the pencils. And then of course there was the lemon. And I do believe this was a tutorial that went up as well, um, which was done with Arteza watercolor paints. And then I came back and did a little layering with the colored pencils. I was just checking the back because as you can see, I write what I use on the back of each one because I don't paint on the back. So all of these came out really nicely. The pencils performed really well. They glazed really well. Like I said, they allowed me to control the um, color that I was adding. So I decided that I wanted to do some testing of the pencils outside of a mixed media aspect where they were being used with something else, but instead being used by themselves. So um, doing, back doing when I was painting all of the fruit, I did this painting of um, some watermelon slices with just the Arteza pencils. And this is where I'm talking about, although they're transparent, you can layer them enough to get very opaque coloring and to add body and weight to um, the image that you're coloring in. Um, the black is really opaque, in my opinion, for a transparent color. The white is okay. I mean, you know, I think it's more suitable for pulling out your mid-tone highlights, but it's definitely nowhere near in the realm of like a Prismacolor white color pencil or um, a gel pen. So if you're gonna get Arteza pencils or this set of pencils, and I'm, again, I assume that the other sets have the same quality, then I definitely would suggest that you get like a gel pen or maybe order in order just open stock a um, Prismacolor white color pencil to go along with the set because the white in it is only suitable and strong enough, as I said, for like mid-tone highlights. And I think that's the only one in here that was done with the Arteza. Um, so uh, on mixed media paper, now that's been watercolor paper. Um, this is watercolor paper. This is done in a universal sketchbook um, by Canson. This is their artist series, love this sketchbook. So this sketchbook paper and watercolor paper, we've got watercolor paper here and card stock. So I wanted to also test them on mixed media paper so that I can make sure by the time that I did this review, I had honestly, excuse me, so, oh, please excuse me. I had honestly um, used the pencils enough to offer um, a pretty good opinion on how they would perform all around on different types of papers. So here I use the pencils in order to do a pair. 
um, on in my Jane Davenport Mixed Media Art Journal. Now, I think this turned out nice. This is where I was telling you guys I actually used some solvent. Um, it was a real nice experience painting this. And I know you're like, okay, a pair is simple, but the pencils just perform so well and they blend so well. I felt like I was painting, although I knew without a doubt I was holding a dry media stick of, of, of um, pigment in my hand. So I think they, overall, I didn't have any issues with the way uh, the pencils performed. I don't have any drawbacks or any cons that I could list other than the fact that if you're looking for a more opaque pencil, um, then this probably wouldn't be the product for you. Uh, you do have to layer a lot again. So if you're gonna just be using them solely by themselves in order to do a composition, be prepared to have to go more than two or three rounds with it in order in order to build the depth of color that you want. However, if you're using them in the mixed media aspect, I think that they're gonna blend and work really well to layering and not having to layer a lot of layers in order to really build depth, unless that's what you want to do. Uh, keep in mind, in the layering aspect, I feel like they actually give the artist all of the control. Um, even in the singular aspect, because here, as you can see, these were done with just using the pencils. And for what it's worth, although I did have to go a couple of rounds and layer, um, they came out nice. I feel like they did anyway. Now on the watercolor paper, it's gonna offer more tooth to grab the pigment of the pencil. So I feel like you get through doing compositions on a more toothier paper quicker than you do on like a smooth paper like I did on this cardstock. It took me quite a while to do um, this little landscape painting. And, um, but in the end, I have to say, I had a joy painting it because the pencils were so nice to use between the comfort of holding them and the smoothness of the lid and the vibrancy and the high pigmentation of the color that I really didn't think about the time I was spending painting the composition until it was all said and done. So let's talk about some prices, which ironically enough is not going to be a hard thing to do because the only place I was able to find the 48 count set was on Arteza.com. Now, of course, that website is up for you to go and explore, look around, see the type of product. I think they offer like 750 different products. Um, Arteza is a company that spun off in, I want to say 2015, and it is a um, direct-to-consumer e-commerce company, so there is no brick and mortar. They uh, sell directly to their customers from their site um, and they do offer 24 hours, seven days a week customer service. So um, it's working for them and they are producing some nice products wherever they're ha having them made it now. And I say that simply because I didn't see on the site when I was searching and doing research where the pencils was made it here. It says designed in USA, manufactured in PRC. So I'm, th I'm I'm assuming that PRC is what, Puerto Rico? I'm assuming that's what that is. I'm gonna check. I'm not sure and I'm never ashamed to admit when I'm not sure of anything, but I think PRC is Puerto Rico. Um, and if I'm wrong about that, I'm gonna update the description of this video. I have no problem with putting the correct information down there if I'm wrong about that. So all intents and purposes, very nice pencils, very nice quality pencils. I think that they are definitely professional grade. I recommend them. Um, you can get this 48 count set on Arteza website for like $18.99. Uh, that's not bad at all, considering the quality of these pencils. I would put them up against a lot of pencils out there. Um, and they are definitely gonna be some that I reach for to use on a very regular basis. I'm very impressed Arteza. Like seriously, you guys, I've done a lot of reviews on a lot of different products and I actually ordered, this was one of, the, this is the first Arteza product that I've used. I've actually, I, in this order, I also got the 12 count water, half pan watercolor set and I got the 24 count woodless premium colored pencil set. Now both the watercolor and the 
woodless color, uh, watercolor pencils are of the premium line, which are their student grade. This was the only professional grade product that I ordered. However, I am gonna order some other professional grade products from them because they're affordable. And if these pencils were any indication of what any of the other professional grade products that they offer has, then I'm gonna be happy to be ordering them from them. And as soon as I'm ready to place another order, Arteza is gonna be one of the stops that I order from. So yes, I definitely recommend the pencils, guys. Um, for the price of them, you can't beat it now. Unfortunately, right now, I do have to drop this bombshell. They are currently out of stock. But of course, you know, since the pandemic hit, there's been a lot of things going on with keeping stuff in stock. So just keep check on their website. Um, if you want a bigger set or a smaller set, you can check Amazon. They're available. Um, their website does have the 120 count available. Then it has like the, um, yeah, it has 120 count, the full range available. And I think they're like $69.99. So that's actually not bad for um, quality pencils, especially 120 of them. Um, that, that That's pretty, pretty good, Arteza. Again, on Amazon, you can get other sets. You can get the 120 count and you can get the smaller sets. Be sure to pay attention to what you're ordering because, again, there are premium colored pencils and then there are expert color pencils. There are premium watercolor pencils. There are expert watercolor pencils. So just pay attention that if you're aiming for the artist quality that you order the expert line because if you order the premium line, there's going to be their student grade. All right, guys, that's pretty much all I have for this video. If you like any of the information or if it's going to lend to you making a decision about whether you're adding Arteza Expert Line Color Pencils to your art collection, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe so that you can keep up with the other great content going up on the channel. Um, next week, I got the review coming up on Arteza's premium line 20 uh 12 half pan watercolor set so don't forget to mark your calendars and be sure to subscribe for that go ahead and comment you know i want to talk to you i love to hear what you have to say and converse about the stuff that's going on in the video don't forget to head on over to the thrifty apprentice facebook page like us there guys share the video sharing is caring um maybe somebody else will find this information useful and as i tell you at the end of every single video just keep painting.